There's no need to cry mascara tears. Is that really what you want though? Page Six Style is here to tell you everything you need to know about Lauren Conrad Beauty. I'm Alana, and welcome to Style Trial, the series where we test out celebrity brands and trends IRL. Today, we're testing out Lauren Conrad Beauty, the new beauty line from the Star of the Hills and Laguna Beach that is clean, environmentally friendly, vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff. And joining me for this style trial is beautiful mama-to-be, Jamila Williams. Hi, Jamila. Hi, Alana, how are you? Good, good. So I'm so glad you were joining me for this style trial. How do you feel about Lauren Conrad as a celeb? Were you like a big Laguna Beach fan back in the day? I was sucked into it and I know everyone from Laguna Beach. I watched The Hills as well. I mean, I honestly, I haven't thought about Lauren Conrad in years until I was asked to do this style trial, but I'm really excited to see what she has to offer as far as beauty goes. Okay, so we are gonna start with one of the five products that Lauren launched with before expanding her line. Um, it is the lip and cheek tint. It costs $20 and notably it only comes in one shade. Um, it's called Peony. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see. Sort of a, um, a deep pink shade. Now this is meant to be um, sort of dabbed and applied on obviously both lips and cheeks. It's pretty glossy and dewy. So it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, how this goes. Does it show up on you at all? Barely, but it does. Barely, okay. Oh yeah, I can see some color. Which is what you kind of want in a blush. You don't, you want it to look realistic. Yeah, not clown-like. Exactly. Okay, yeah, you can see a little color. Um, It's definitely really buildable. Yeah, on my lips, it's just gloss. It's just gloss, no color. It's gloss, no color, yeah. It kind of reminds me of when I find a lip color that I love and I'm like, you know what? This would also be a nice blush and I just make it work. Yeah. yeah. It feels kind of like I have lipstick on my cheeks. If you don't want a sort of creamy, dewy product all over your face for blush, Lauren's also offering a powder version. And this came in the second drop of products. You and I got two different colors. Mine is called Peach. Looks like this. Mine looks different. I Oh, I got Romance. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Soft, pretty names. Exactly what you would expect from Elsie. It's worth noting, so a big selling point for this collection is that it's eco-friendly. All of the packaging is recyclable and actually if you go on the site and click on particular products, each one has a little blurb for how to recycle the packaging when you're done. The powder blush and the eyeshadow palette that we'll show you guys in a few minutes don't come with brushes or applicators. Um, I suspect that most people who are gonna be purchasing this line probably have their own set of brushes that they use, so. I'm typically a powder girl, but I am I think I like the consistency of the, cl the cream blush more. I think I prefer the powder, so we're split. But the color's nice. I don't mind the color. Mm -mm. Next up, we also have one of the original launch products, which is the liquid highlighter, which comes in this teeny tiny tube. It costs $26 and it only comes in one shade. I actually almost feel like you could skip the highlighter if you're using that lip or cheek tint because it's so glossy and light reflective, but let's try a little bit of this because I am a highlighter fan. We're gonna look like we just came from the club. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> but I like it to be this pretty much this shade because it's not glittery it's shimmery yes not glitter yes. there's no chunky glitter i mean it's it's a pretty pared down highlighter yeah doesn't do much of a difference i don't know if i'm highlighted i'd rather it show up like this than me looking like adam lambert you know if you're looking for a nice highlighter that's sort of you know, simple, minimalist, just gives you a little extra glow. I think you could do worse. Onto the eyeshadow palette, which comes in two different shade options. Mine is called Sunrise, and it's sort of earthy neutrals, a little bit of shimmer in there, but mostly j just different shades of brown, which is extremely Lauren Conrad. And mine is called Magic Hour, which 
does kind of have like a brownish palette to it, but it also has like a little bit of a purplish. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the shimmers. Um, maybe using the more shimmery one on the lid and then the lighter just above. I'm gonna start with the rose gold. Oh, this is pretty. I feel like pigment wise, she did a good job. On yeah. The, it shows up and it's not ashy at all. Yeah, I really like these shimmery shades. I don't know how much use I would personally get out of the like more terracotta toned ones, but the shimmers, I mean, they're all the colors that I personally like. Obviously, eyeshadow is a personal preference. So exactly. um, if you like neutrals, <laughs> I feel like either of these probably have something that you'll love. Ooh. Yeah, I just like, I like it. I just feel like I need to set it off with some eyeliner. Well, I'm glad you said that because next up is what a lot of people are calling the hero product, the liquid eyeliner, which is $20. And if you are even a passing fan of Lauren Conrad, I feel like you know her for her signature cat eye. I should also mention that if you are not a liquid liner fan, she is also offering an eyeliner pencil for $18. Done. Ooh, look at you. I really like this liner. What do you think? I love the way that it glided on. And for the first time, I got my wings pretty symmetrical. Yeah. It only took me one try too, which like maybe we're both just like in a lucky space today, but that's pretty rare. So let's set it off with the mascara, which is $20. Comes in the same tube, same color tube, I should add. I put mine on, easy to apply, but you know, I would expect as much. Um, I would describe this personally as kind of like a mid, a, a mid-level mascara. It's not super, super natural looking, like, you know, your lashes, but better. But it's also not super volumizing, curling, lifting, defining. I mean, honestly, it's like, I can't even see my lashes with how bold my eyeliner is. So I just don't notice mascara at all. Yeah, it's not gonna replace false lashes. It's like, Makeup that enhances, not like makes up. So let's do the lip gloss, which comes in three shades, $18, and comes in this like wonderfully nostalgic squeezy tube. Mine is in rose quartz, and it is a very subtly pink tinted clear gloss. I have a lip gloss that is in the shade of Dawn, and it's got some, some pigment to it. To me, this is like a true gloss. I barely see it, but Consistency is nice. It's, it's not sticky at all. No, not at all. It almost feels like a balm. It does feel moisturizing. It doesn't yeah. feel sticky at all. It doesn't feel chemically. It feels very, very smooth. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have the lipstick, which is $20 and comes in four different shades. You and I selected different ones for the trial. I selected Juneberry. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really deep uh, burgundy. Mm -hmm. I chose this darker shade just because I tend to like, you know, reds. And I tend to like reds that are like a little bit like blood red, just like. Love a bloody lipstick. I mean, you all know me at this point, so many style trials. I love a classic red lip and this is poppy. And it's exactly the kind of red I would go for day to day. Um, something I wanted to add, cause you mentioned the, pro oh, that looks so pretty. Thank you. Oh, it really pops. I like it a lot. Ooh. So this formula um, is semi matte. And I think that's an accurate, an accurate uh, description, don't you? Absolutely. It still feels hydrating and it goes on easy. My lips don't feel dry. Mm -hmm. Same. Um, but it has that matte look where it looks like it's gonna stay. Ooh. And here it is with the gloss. I like it with the gloss, actually. Yeah. Let's do a little, you've inspired me. I'm gonna do a little gloss over mine. Good job, Lauren Conrad. <laughs> it seems like she put a lot of thought into this product line. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's quality. It's definitely quality and it's at a fair price. Lauren has said in interviews that she is gonna be growing this range quite a bit. Um, she has skincare planned and hopefully more shades. So I guess you can say the rest is still unwritten. Yeah.